Hey everyone, this is Subaqueous, and today I wanted to go over a tutorial on song structure and song arrangement. Um, when I was first getting into making electronic music, I had a really hard time finding information on the different building blocks or the, the arrangement of your music. So it took me a few years trying out my own things, working, you know, not straight, eight measures. I was doing weird things like uh, sevens repeated and, and it took me a long time to get my own flow down and then looking at other musicians, other artists and understanding their arrangements, then I started to get a really good idea and I just wanted to share those that information with you today. Uh, so before I get into any of this I want to talk really quick about building blocks to music and in pop music, there's generally an intro, a verse, a chorus, a verse, a chorus, and then an outro. You know, your chorus is the main part of your music. It's where it has the hook. It's where it has um, the part that people want to remember. And your verse is just kind of the information and the story. Electronic music is quite different. Uh, it was based in DJing music and dance floor music, so it doesn't hold itself a lot to the whole concept of verse and chorus and it generally just has an intro some type of main section a breakdown the main section again and an outro um, and that makes it really easy to mix as well as very simple for the listener to pay attention to it while they're on the dance floor or in the bedroom so i'm going to go over some basic song structures this first one is my own track, Darlin. And it starts off without an intro, it just goes right to it. It has this main section, about every eight measures, it starts something new. And I've tried like going outside of eight measures and four, four kind of concepts, and you can do it. It's definitely different and you need to know what you're doing. But in general, people are really used to every eight measures, a change up, and every 32 measures, something brand new happens. So in this case, I'm going on and then there's this riser section and a riser section is where it's arpeggiating up. A lot of times in electronic, like techno music, it's some whooshing sound or a buildup in frequency that then drops right afterwards. It's really important that the next section after that has more energy because then it builds your track up. So again, this is just going to repeat and then it keeps going until the outro. It's a classic outro with some nice melody that just kind of ends off. So looking at, let's quickly look at some of these other examples. Um, these two right here are classic dubstep examples. So you see it's this one started with a good intro. Um, basically what I did is the same thing. I took a, a waveform, put it in here, and then listened to the parts and drew it out for you. So this example, it has a good intro with a break. Breaks create that empty space that really adds power to the next section. Has this main section repeating three times. A breakdown about 50% into the song. Now this is a classic arrangement in terms of about 50% you want to break down, which is usually without a beat, kind of chills out for a second, allows people to um, kind of calm their ear. Usually it's less volume, and it's really important to have that dynamic range. And then it goes back to the main section. Usually this is your climax where it has more energy and then an outro. Next example is Scream, very similar intro main melody it has a lot of more breaks in this because it creates that nice amount of um, change up for the next part has a breakdown about 50 percent repeated outro pretty classic if you stuck to that structure you would do really well um, and you can also switch it up a little bit which a good example of that is just for fun i looked at halcyon on and on it's from the hacker soundtrack and this was one of the first pieces of electronic music that I just really fell for. So I want to share real quick um, what it looks like. As you can see, it has a really big intro, 
This is an intro with a beat and then the main part starts. This is interesting where it has, in that song it had a, a change up. It had kind of a key change up and the melody changed and it, it definitely felt really different compared to the rest of the piece. And that helped clear the air and allow more space for when it came back. Had a breakdown again, 50% there, and then a breakdown stopped. And then this song by Buka Shade, same basic thing, intro, melody. It did something a little bit more interesting in terms of its breaks and its timing was a little bit different than most tracks. As you can see, it kind of has these like kind of build up section where it gets smaller, smaller, smaller and starts. Big, this little small outro and end. So as you can see, if you stuck with the doing a little intro, your main section, 50% breakdown, your climax at the end, some type of break or outro at the end for easy DJ mixing, then you'd be doing great. Some real quick thing I'm gonna show you is what I do with my live set, or sorry, in my studio and in, in producing. What I do is actually create that arrangement type view at the very top where it's just my MIDI. And in this case, I color the clips based on the circle of fifths, which you can see at subaqueousmusic.com. Um, you can see why I do that for har easy harmonic mixing. But it says B major, and that's like the main sections, your riser, the other main sections, your outro. And that makes it just really easy for me to understand what's happening. And I can also just grab a section and move it around if later th I want to change things up. So yeah, that's the basics of song structure and arrangement in electronic music. And hope you find this really useful. Check out more information at subaqueousmusic.com. I have free instruments, all sorts of free knowledge base and things like that. And also subscribe to this YouTube video um, channel so that I can share more information with you in the future. All right, thanks.